Hey everybody, it's the boss lady here. Happy Juneteenth, y'all. <laughs> For those who celebrate. Uh, I am on my way to go get Boss Man a Father's Day gift. Uh, it's after work and I'm riding solo. And uh, so I'm on my way to get him a gift. He knows what he's getting partially. Um, part of his gift came in the mail today. I guess I should have ordered my dad some too, but mm, I don't think dad would use it. Anyway, so I'm on my way to go get the rest of Boss Man's gift. And then my regular Friday routine, picking up dinner. So yeah, that's what I'm about to do right now. Um, work was work, work was good though. I mean, you know, there was a lot of love in the building. But you know, I, I work for a black owned company, so. <laughs> it is what it is. Um, but yes, we had a good day. And today is a day to have a good day. I wish the sun would burn these clouds away because I really don't want... Um, I really don't want it to rain because I want to barbecue tomorrow. You know me, cook up enough food where I ain't got to cook for a couple, two, three days. But I turned the camera on because boss man got me an air fryer y'all if you follow me on instagram you've already seen my post about it it's a 7m1 it's by uh the brand In instant pot or whatever y'all when i looked that thing up it's a 119 dollar air fryer at least at walmart my husband only paid $30 for it. Brand new in the box. When I tell you, I was screaming. I wish, I really do wish that he had the camera rolling when I walked into that kitchen. So when I had text home, I was like, did I get a package today? Cause I had got a alert saying I had a package delivered. And so, husband said, yes, the baby got it. And then he texted me back and he said, you got two packages. So, I said, oh, okay. So, when I came home, one package was on the little um, cabinet. And then the other one was on the couch. So, I was like, oh. And so, he said, yeah, your package there. And then, you know, your package there. So, I was sitting out. I'm opening my packages, right? He said, but uh, what you asked for is in the kitchen. So, I was like, oh, okay. And so, he just kind of sat there and looked at me, you know. I must have walked in that kitchen. I, I guess first and foremost, let me just say in my defense, I didn't know how big it was going to be, you know, because for the price that I knew he was going to pay, you know, I was thinking it was pretty small, whatever. Um, and he bought it my sight on scene. So oftentimes I'll tell boss man, I want this, I want that. And then, you know, he'll do whatever in his power to, you know, get it and stuff baby 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 what i tell you i walk in that kitchen was hooping and hollering jumping all around the floor he just i could tell i could feel him from the living room he's sitting in the living room with his feet up i could feel him just shining in that living room just with pride like yep i made her happy you know what i mean now for some people i will say this there's some wives and girlfriends that are all about, oh, I gotta have this kind of diamond, that kind of diamond. Well, baby, I got my diamond, so you know I'm good. You know, or, oh, my husband, boyfriend, he gotta buy me the latest, greatest purse or whatever. Baby, look, I buy my own purses, okay? If I want me a Michael Kors, I would buy it. If I want me a coach, I would buy it. If I want me a Louis a Vuitton, I would buy it. You heard what I'm saying? So therefore, I don't need my husband to buy me no purse, because I get it myself, or I just get the money and go, you know, I choose my own but that man can buy me any type of kitchen appliance, y'all, and I will just scream. Like, there was one time back when we were wedding planning, first married, you know, everybody was getting the KitchenAid mixers. And I was like, I want one. I want one. Y'all, I can't remember what year I got that KitchenAid. But I got it for Mother's Day. And you know, most people, oh, I want flowers. I want this. I want that. He gave me a KitchenAid mixer, and let me tell you, I was very pleased. Do you hear me? I, I'm not the type of woman where, I, you know, I got to 
puts things on a pedestal for my husband to get. If my husband bought me a brand new vacuum cleaner, I would be happy. I mean, not that I need one, because I just got one, you know, not too long ago. But you know what I'm saying? So I'm not that type of person. Or, oh, well, I got to have the latest, greatest, this and that. Child, look, my eyes are bothering me because of my allergies. But yes, honey. Hmm. Husband got me that great old air fryer. Because I've been telling him I want an air fryer. And I almost ordered one. One of my great girlfriends, you know who you are. Almost talked me into going on QVC and doing the, you know, five payments and get one. And I almost did it. And, like, every time I got ready to, something was going on. The whole COVID situation happened. And I was like, well. And then I wasn't working. Wasn't getting no check coming in. So I was like, uh-uh. I can't be spending no, you know, money and stuff. So I never ordered it. And then I was thinking about it the other day when I was at work, matter of fact. And husband sent me a message saying, um... Did you still want an air fryer? And I said, oh, yeah. He said, I can get one for $30. I said, okay. Because I just like, you know, it's an air fryer. He did not tell me, y'all, what all it entailed. I mean, I didn't know what all was in it. Nothing. Do you hear me? It's a seven in one. That thing can air fry. It can bake. It can roast. It can reheat, um, dehydrate. Something else rotisserie I said you mean to tell me I can go buy me a whole chicken and do my own rotisserie chicken baby when I tell you it's about to be on and popping in the boss land house Woo! I'm so excited I almost said my full last name huh you not getting my government I'm just telling you like that I'm so excited. Oh, my God. Can you tell I'm so excited? I'm so excited. Oh, I need to stop at the beauty supply store. But it's a little busy right now. Yeah, too many cars. Mm -mm. And that supply store is small, child. Uh-uh. Rona's still in these streets. Rona's in these streets. Do you hear me? Mm-mm. I'm going down to this other store. See what I can find for uh, the husband. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> Oh my goodness, and mind you, I'm playing the barbecue, right? But I'm super excited to have it because, you know, now I can use it for anything and everything. Y'all, when I tell you, whew, mm, mm, mm. Now, mind you, <laughs> I just thought about this. Go big or go home, right? So y'all know I got that roaster pan that big roaster that I make my turkeys in now. And you know my roaster pan does a lot of different stuff too that I haven't even tried yet. Child. My husband's like, go big or go home. So like, we got the big roaster pan. That's a so many in one. Now we got the air fryer. That's so many in one. Plus I got the, um, the rice cooker, slow cooker thing. That's so many things in one. Child. Let me tell you. I could be cooking all kinds of stuff up in that house now. Hmm. And don't have to stand over a stove, child. I cannot wait. So, I said all that to say, y'all know my coffee station that I had in my house. That, you remember that little cabinet that I bought that I was supposed to stain and never did? Okay, yeah. And I was going to paint it and never did? Yeah, that thing right there. Well, <laughs> my slow cooker sits on top of my microwave. And now, I am probably going to get rid of my coffee station why well because i don't make coffee at the house but i gotta figure out where i'm going to put boss man's um where am i going to put his uh tea kettle because i really don't want to put the the uh the what you call it the uh air fryer on the counter oh excuse me i mean it could go on the counter but yeah, I got to figure that out. But I think I'm going to get rid of the coffee station, which kind of bums me out because, you know, I did buy that clock and it's shaped into a um, shaped into a coffee cup or whatever, you know, underneath the TV. Mm -hmm. I had to figure it out. But I think that's where it's going to go because I'm like, I don't even make coffee at the house no more. He makes tea, you know, a couple times a week on his tea kettle. So, I got to have a spot for a tea kettle, which actually, it could sit on top of the uh, microwave as well. 
So, because the slow cooker is not that big. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so excited. Oh my goodness. When I tell you I'm so excited. Oh, what's that? Oh, the Mexican truck. Food truck. Seems like I would never see the other type of food trucks. Every time I see a food truck, it's always like the Mexican trucks, but it's never no other food trucks. And we got a bunch of food trucks, but they'll never be like, you know, within the neighborhoods and stuff. They only be downtown. Ain't nobody trying to pay the park just go to a food truck. You see him looking at me? <laughs> I'm like, you see him looking at me? I was trying to figure out why was he lagging on my side? Child, ain't nobody got time for you. Oh, but I got so many compliments this morning. So this morning, um, and I might put a little clip, but this morning I had my hair still twisted because I would run late. Um, I was still on time for work, but I was running late getting out the door. But anyway, I had my hair still twisted up, so I had my scarf on, and then I had my earrings on, and then I went to the store, and I had my, my mask on. I was wearing this one here, my Kenta Cloth mask. So I was getting all kind of compliments, and folks was talking to me, and I was just like, okay. Y'all, when I tell you it's going to be a good day, <laughs> it's going to be a great day. So... I got a lot of compliments, conversations, in reference to my mask and my hair. Now, mind you, my hair look a hot mess. And normally, I'm going to tell you, hold a thought. I'll tell you in just a second. Uh-huh. Bunch of men, but, you know, whatever. Didn't bother me. I was just like, wow. I guess they, they you know, saw something that interested them. Didn't interest me. <laughs> I'm just saying. Oh my goodness, will I be able to get to the store from here? Lord. There's construction all over the city. You figure there's construction everywhere, plus stuff got to be rebuilt. Ugh. The whole city's just towed up right now. Mm -mm -mm. But yeah, I'm super excited about my, um, about my, uh, air fryer. I can't wait. I haven't even opened it yet. He just had it sitting on the counter for me. So, and it's big, guys. It's so big. Oh my goodness. I see a lot of dust down there. I'm like, look now. I can't be getting no dust and stuff in my hair. Lord help. Will I be able to turn? Oh no. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. Oh yeah, I'll turn right here. But, uh, yeah, there's a lot of dust down here. I don't want to get dust in my hair. At all. It's a lot to go through this process. I'm just saying. I'm going to look for me something while I'm at this store, though. Just see if I can find some, something for me. Hmm. <laughs> But all right, y'all, I just wanted to come in and vlog for a minute. I just had to tell y'all about my gift today. I got almost all my items from Lane Bryant, so please stay tuned. Hopefully by Sunday, I should have a Lane Bryant haul for y'all. I was telling Boss Man, I need, um, I need a garment rack so I can hang my clothes up. So, you know, when I do my videos and stuff, but I don't know if we're going to actually buy one just for me to do my videos like he didn't sound too uh <laughs> he didn't sound too pleased with that he was like what <laughs> so sorry guys it'll be coming out the packages and you know so stuff might look a little wrinkled sorry about that but boss man was like yeah no i'm not spending money on that <laughs> even if it is for your channel so that's all right because i got my air fryer so i'm good he spent money on that and i'm cool but uh, let me go ahead on and take my little self up in the stove, you know. <laughs> Wakanda forever, honey. Wakanda forever. But all right. I will talk to y'all later. Bye.